Hi, my name is Christine Maurer, and I am a senior natural resource ecologist with Hennepin County. In this video, we're going to be learning about the flying friends of the big woods, including Minnesota native bats that rely on this beautiful and important ecosystem. The big woods ecosystem in Minnesota consists of many plant communities. Historically, the most common forest type of the big woods was the maple basswood forest. Remnant patches of this forest type can be found in Hennepin County in places like Elm Creek Park Reserve, Wolfsfeld Woods Scientific and Natural Area, and Voyager Environmental Center. Maple basswood forests are very important to many species of plants and animals, especially those of the flying variety. Bats are an often forgotten but very important group of mammals in Minnesota. Many can eat up to or sometimes more than their body weight of mosquitoes and agricultural pests every night. Minnesota is home to seven bat species, five of which are common to maple basswood forests. Although elusive and nocturnal, a well-timed hike in late evening and a keen eye can offer an exciting glimpse of these important and very cute creatures. During warmer months of the year, bats can be found visiting and roosting in many habitats and locations. For instance, bats will frequent wetlands and water features, forest fringes and openings, and nearby open spaces for foraging during the spring and summer to hunt for bugs. Bats also drink while flying by skimming water surface with an open mouth. During the day, bats will roost or rest. Hoary bats and red bats will spend their days roosting in trees. In fact, red bats hang to branches with one foot, wrap themselves in their wings, and tuck in their tiny heads to their furry chest, creating a little bat burrito that sways like a leaf in the wind. Silver-haired bats often require older growth forests with standing snags or dead trees for roosting. They are an example of a species that relies on diverse forest structure and are a reminder of why it is important to protect old growth forest and natural forest processes. Most bats in Minnesota, including hoary, silver-haired, and red bats, migrate south out of Minnesota for the winter. Little brown bats and northern long-eared bats are known to hibernate in Minnesota, but migrate shorter distances to caves that they return to each year. Many bats in Minnesota, and globally, are facing declines due to habitat loss and a fungal disease called white nose syndrome. Being a good steward for bats can involve installing a bat house, leaving a dead tree standing, keeping your cat inside, and reducing pesticide use. You can find more information on Minnesota bats in the links and videos provided in the online story map.